Hey guys, it has been a while. <laughs> I've been uh, doing paid projects, wiring harnesses, been traveling, and I finally got the bug to where I can somewhat drive it. Um, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video. Um, I haven't had a chance to document everything yet, but um, that's coming. This is almost like a sneak peek sort of video. So I thought I'd just uh, do a quick walkthrough and start up and show you where the project is. I have a bit of a temporary gauge here. It's not fully installed yet. It's kind of just sitting there. But anyway, I thought it matched the speedometer, the existing speedometer really well. Um, I had to basically cannibalize one gauge um, and put the the silver bezel and change out the face plates but now it's silver bezel and black face which i like and so let's give it a go so we have oil pressure tachometer water temperature and um, oil temperature down here but i have that plumbed up to the intake to try and see if maybe intake air temperature would uh, show up on this, but I don't think it is. It's more of an experiment. So before I can really drive the Beetle, um, I have to do some suspension um, rehabilitation. It has death wobble like crazy. So I can, if I boost it, I can get death wobble to start at like 20 miles an hour, which man, that it it's tough to drive. <laughs> so I haven't been driving it. I drove it from my shop home and kind of back and forth a little bit, but I have not made it um, my daily driver yet. So need to do some suspension things um, before I do that. Also, the coolant temperature sensor is. Uh, malfunctioning so my idle is kind of crazy wonky it'll show like negative 47 degrees Fahrenheit and then it'll jump immediately to like 120 degrees Fahrenheit and so the idle gets all crazy and it just doesn't run great when it thinks it's colder than it is or hotter you know than than it really is you know so anyway i need to do a couple things to get it in tip top but i am going to show you how i ran the uh the exhaust it's somewhat temporary um i just have all this pressure to get some paid projects done so a lot of this is going to be temporary um, unfortunately but it sounds awesome and it runs fairly well for uh what it is so keep uh keep watching there will be more videos to come i'm sorry it took this one took so long to get to you here's the engine idling you can see it has a little bit of a stutter occasionally but uh it sounds really good the uh mass airflow sensor Apparently is the wrong one or it's damaged or something. I've tried switching it out with a few different ones, but they're all giving me that same code. So I think it might be the wiring, perhaps. A lot of this old these old connectors are a little bit brittle, so perhaps I just have a intermittent connection that I need to try and diagnose. Here is my awesome coolant catch. <laughs> it goes from the uh, pressure bottle down here up into the uh, cool aluminum water bottle catch can that's entirely temporary and kind of crazy but it works for now here is the exhaust it's just a resonator and a secondary resonator from a Subaru 2.2 and uh, it's just tech I have it bolted up to the uh, exhaust manifold and uh, it's working just fine it sounds really good but I'll probably uh, put an actual muffler on it someday so just a couple more revs 